Well, before I unbox this controller, I just want to say this is going to be my last bread spent on controller. I did scuff before, I did Battle Beaver, I did AIM controller, and my most current was the PlayStation Edge. Now this shit is already broken because the paddles are uh, iron and the inside right here where the paddles like click on, those are plastic. And so the plastic inside is already worn. So, note me, this is my last controller. All right, so we picked up the, the Scuf and Vision Pro, which is gonna be their latest controller. This is uh, PC exclusive. So this only works for PC. So if you're on console, this is not gonna be compatible. Let's just make note of that, all right? So let's just get right to the unboxing. I'm not gonna go over everything because obviously you guys must have seen this because it was a big announcement made by Scuf. So let's just get right into the unboxing. All right, this is a boxing, feels really premium. I mean, it's typical from Scuf. It's a norm for them. Their boxing uh, uh, material has always been good. So Scuf right here, change your game. Let's see if that happens. I hope they save my money this time. And we're just gonna open up. And this is a new Scuf Envision Pro, All right? So as you can see right here, this is like a warning right here. Stop, download the software first. So pretty much this controller is not just like a plug and play right in the PC. It still needs this IQ software. So we're gonna get rid of that. And as you can see, I picked up the white uh, Envision Pro, which really looks sexy from right here. I'm dying to play with this controller. But let's just put this aside. We got back to the controller. Let's just see what comes in the box. So right here, we got a, a USB uh, transmitter right here that makes this uh, controller uh, capable of going wireless. But hey, I'm right next to my PC, so I don't think I'll be needing this. And then inside the box here, we got a uh, two accessory box that I believe right here. Let's open the smaller one first. And these are just some, uh, I'll say face plates. So pretty much these are like, uh, if you're not trying to like uh, use a button that's on the scuff, you could just uh, put these in. So you're not like accidentally clicking on those buttons. So let's just rest it aside. And then we got the, another accessory box right here. I think this includes a wire if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so we got our braided uh, USB-C to USB-A wire. And also there's like a little transmitter right here that goes from USB-A to USB-C. Uh, I don't recommend this, just use a, a USB-C to USB-C wire. So that way the transfer speed is not slow or anything like that. But nice cable, braided, matches with the controller, great. Really like that, shout out to Scuff for that. Is there anything else? Yep. And then inside, I think, yep. Get out, can you get out? Yep. And then inside you get your uh, two extra thumbsticks. These are dome thumbsticks. Not really a fan of dome thumbsticks. I'm more of a concave guy. So yeah, it's nice to have these though. Let's just put that aside. And then back to the controller. So this is a controller that I picked up. I got, uh, I think it's called Gray or some shit like that. It has a nice name to it. it has not also a nice feel. We got the uh, Pro Grip right here. That's back here. We got side clicky button right here. Side clicky button right here. All, actually, all the buttons right here on the front are uh, mouse click buttons. So that's for the X, the B, the A, the X, even the options button right here. This pretty much is just for aesthetics. This is not like a button or like a touchpad or anything like that. Same for our D-pad right here, mouse click as well. And then for my thumbsticks, I got the concave long right here, then I got the concave sharp. If you guys are gonna buy this controller, let's just say if you're a concave player like me, I recommend you doing a long and short because the short is like actually short. So just in case you need something longer, I say you could just use back this right here, the uh, dome, put it right here, and then you got a long concave. So if you guys get the drift, all right? So obviously port is gonna be USB type C. Once again, this controller could go wired or wireless. So, but if you're playing on PC guys, don't use wireless. Just go straight in, use a wire, right? We got four uh, back buttons right here. I think these are the only membrane buttons on the controller. So as you can hear that, 
it's not really mouse click compared to the inner button right here. These are mouse click, right? So that feels really nice. They also got trigger stops right here. So I think you could uh, adjust the tension of the trigger of uh, how the dead zone works. And I think there's also a software that also supports this once you download the, the IQ uh, software. So you could uh, adjust the dead zones for your trigger. But for me, that's pretty much all right. I don't shoot with my bumpers. These are just my tactical and lethal button. Then obviously my triggers are gonna be mouse click. And that really, really feels nice, bro. And with the faceplate, one thing I like, you could customize these. Well, actually, before I get into that, you do have a profile button right here. So if you play like different games, like for me, it's just strictly Call of Duty, so I don't need this. But let's just say you play like uh, GTA, FIFA, and you want to program these, you, you could program these, your, your back buttons or whichever buttons here, and you could just save that profile with just click right here. These are pretty much, your G buttons are gonna be pretty much like your mapping buttons. So you can make this like shortcut button. So hit the switch, mute someone, hit this. You could like switch scene in OBS or anything like this. So once again, this uh, controller is specifically for a PC. That's where you're gonna get like the full benefits. It's not compatible with PlayStation or Xbox. So your faceplate right here, you can remove this. So I think in the future, like Scuff is gonna like be selling faceplate where you like could customize. Hopefully you could do like your name or your own logo. That would be really cool because you could remove these. And then inside here, uh, obviously you could swap your thumbstick just by that, just like that. And you could also uh, pop these out if I'm not mistaken. There we go, you could pop these out. So this is magnetic, snaps right back on your thumbstick. It kind of sucks because one thing I do like about my PlayStation right here, this right here. This is the best feature, I think, like, that's in a controller. Oh my fucking God, can I open this, bro? Here we go. This is the best feature. You got stick drift, boom, pop this out. Replace, $20 on Amazon. This shit, if you get stick drift, you gotta be fucking around with the dead zone, whether in the software or on Call of Duty. So. That's really kind of sucked knowing that you pay $200 and you can't like just swap the whole module for the thumbsticks. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, I say overall like uh, aesthetic for this controller, nine out of 10. Feels for the triggers, 10 out of 10. Bot bones, 10 out of 10. But let's see how that actually like helps in game. So that's gonna be it for this controller guys. If you guys uh, enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like down below, comment what you think. And if you guys want to see like a hand cam gameplay of this video, just comment down below. As usual guys, this is your boy T from T Gaming and keep on gaming. Peace out guys.